Hello everyone and welcome to Laura's Yoga Club. Now, in this series, we are going on a massive adventure around the world. Can you show me with your hands how big the world is? Ready? Reach all the way up, all the way around to the side and all the way down. Yeah, we can't really do that with our hands, can we? We're, we're not as big as the world. But we're going to try our very best to explore as much of it as we can. Now, to get ready, we do need to do a little bit of a stretch and a little bit of a warm up because we've got a huge adventure to go on. So let's start off by reaching one hand up and over and see if you can touch one side of the room. And then come all the way up and swap sides. Really nice. And all the way up. And then come forwards. And then walking your hands back. Lovely. Now put one hand on the opposite knee. And give it a little tappity tap. And the other arm, we're going to swing it all the way around behind us. And we're going to look to see what's happening behind us. Hmm. It's a nice wall behind me. And the other way, swap hands, swim the arm back and look behind us. Really good coming back. Now, do you know that it takes 45 hours, 45 hours to fly around the world? Should we fly? Can you stand up? Place one foot in the middle of your mat and lift the other foot back and ooh, wobble, wobble, wobble. Spread those wings out wide and we're going to fly all the way around the world. Maybe we can do some zooming aeroplane noises. That's a bit more like a bee, isn't it? That's better. And then lower back down. Really good. So it takes 45 hours to fly, but it takes 40 days to sail. So let's get in our boats. Got a lot of sailing to do, guys. Tip our legs up. Can you point your feet? Maybe you want to keep them bent. Keep your hands behind you or under your knee or grab hold of your rows, your oars for your rowing boat and we're going to row. Very good. Rowing our boat for 40 whole days so we can go all the way around the world. Whew, tired already. Have we done 40 days yet? Ooh. Mm. Maybe the best way would be to cycle our bikes. Mm. It takes 195 days if you're going super speedy to cycle around the world. Come on then, lie on your back, lift your legs up to the ceiling and we're going to get on our bicycle and we're going to cycle around the world. Du -du 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 -du. Cycle, 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 cycle. Really good, should we go fast? Should we slow it down? Should we go fast again? Yes! And slow it down. Then lift the legs up a little bit and then let them go all the way down. Wow! Flying, sailing, cycling. Do you know that a long time ago, people used to think that the world was actually flat? They did, they used to think it was flat. So let's pretend that we're really flat. Can you glue everything down to the floor? Stick your bottom on the floor, stick your heels on the floor, stick your shoulders, your elbows, your hands. Make yourself as flat as you can. Maybe you want to squeeze your face to pretend that that's flat too. <laughs> and then once we've been flat on this side, let's turn over and be flat on our tummies. Flat, 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 flat. Squish your cheek into the, into the floor. Really flat, squish the top of your feet in. <sighs> and then come, push yourself back up. Now, we know that the world is not flat. It's actually round, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, 
let's be a round ball instead. Can you tuck yourself in? Maybe your hands can come on top of your knees or underneath your knees, whichever works better for you. And we're gonna rock hand roll, ready? We're a nice ball shape, rocking and rolling. Look at our little toes, our toes. Rock, roll, rock, roll. Can we hold it? Yes, back and up. Can we hold it again? Yes, very good. Now balancing on your bottom, give yourself a squeeze in. Oh, good balancing. Can you put one leg out straight? Oh. <laughs> Keep balancing, tuck it in, squeeze, other leg, out, tuck it in, squeeze. Really good, guys. Oh, now, in our world, there are 195 countries. Whew, big number. 195 countries, and not one of them is the same as the other. They're all different. They're all new, unique and they're all super special, just like you guys. So let's talk a bit about those countries because some countries have got mountains in them, like this, a big tall mountain. So you need to have really straight arms and really straight legs and you're going to stick your bottom in the air because that's the point of the mountain. Imagine someone is climbing all the way up the mountain and they're gonna sit at the top when they get there. They might even put a flag at the top to show that they've been up the mountain. <laughs> nice. Now some countries, jump your legs in and out. Some countries have volcanoes. Volcanoes sometimes erupt lava. Would you like to be lava with me? So sink down a little bit and we're going to use our legs to help us propel all the way up in ooze lava everywhere. Are you ready? One, two, three, explode! Wow! Good volcanoes, everyone. So some are mountains, some are volcanoes, some are both of those things. Some have skyscrapers, really ginormous, tall buildings. And they need to be solid into the ground so they don't fall over. So really plant yourself on the ground. Then they've got nice strong foundations, really strong building here. And they don't end here, they go higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And they are really tall buildings. And they tend to be really tall and really straight. Yes, now in these tall buildings, there's usually lots of people. And the people in the tall buildings are usually very, 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 very busy. Let's be busy people. Go, busy people around the map. Busy people, busy, busy people. You're not allowed off the map because that means you're leaving the building. We don't leave the building. We've got lots of work to do and we've got to be really busy. Now, the busy people sometimes go on holiday to places where they've got really good waves and really good surf. So, get yourself on your surfboard and start to swim, 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 swim. Take your hands under, ready, a wave's coming. We're gonna push ourselves up and we're gonna jump into our surfing pose. Nice guys. And we're surfing all the way to the beach. Lovely, jump back, swim again. Let's catch one more wave. Swim, 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 swim. Look up, big wave coming, jump. Ready, yes. Really good surfing guys. Oh, then wiggle yourself down. Stretch one leg out, wiggle the other way, stretch the other leg out, and come all the way up to standing. Now, we've seen countries, and we've seen what they've got there. I think it's time for us to go home. 
We've got loads more exploring coming up, but right now, it's time to get back into our own bed and into our own house. So, let's fly there. Put one leg in the middle, the opposite leg to what you did at the beginning, if you can remember. Kick the other leg out, aeroplane wings, really straight, and we're gonna fly again. Not a buzzy bee, but an aeroplane. Mm, really good. Now, if you can, hold your leg up, and we're gonna just reach for something on the floor. So our hands are gonna come down to the floor, and we're gonna keep our leg up. Now, what did I come down here for? <gasps> That's it. I came down here for my binoculars. So get your binoculars, lift them up, put them on your eyes so you can see as you're flying home all the amazing things in the world that you will be able to see one day. <gasps> wow, there's so much to go and explore. Put those hands back down, take the binoculars off. If you can, leave the foot there. Then let's see, what am I after this time? Oh, where is it I am after? <gasps> yeah. Here we go, we're going to get our big, warm, juicy heart and we're going to throw it all over the world as we fly home. Because on our way home, there will be loads of people down there that we see that we're gonna to want to make friends with. And there's gonna be loads of animals down there that we're gonna to want to pat and stroke. <gasps> nice, come and lower yourself all the way down and turn yourself around so you're facing me with your legs crossed. Now turn the hands up. Really straighten your spine nice and long and on a big stretch up, we're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Now it's true what I said. The world is massive and it is all yours to explore. You are going to meet lots of friends all over the world and you are going to see lots of animals all over the world. But it's our job, very important job, to take care of our world and look after it so that it can look after us. Bring your hands together. I want you to take a big deep breath in through the nose and out the mouth. <sighs> Bow your head to your hands and I want you to say, I belong. That's right, because you do belong into this amazing world that we live in. I cannot wait to go on another adventure with you all around our amazing world. See you next time, little yogis.